Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. So yeah, back from another trip. We've been to Hurst View down in Limington. Um, it was for a friend's birthday. So again, this video isn't going to be particularly that long because um, I didn't do too much filming. But um, yeah, I'll be able to give you a rough idea of what to expect if, if you're heading down this way. So the park itself is sort of more back to basics. Um, it's got your sort of three main fields. Um, where you've got set up for electric or non-electric. Um, you have got some lodges there you can um, rent out and some static caravans. Um, and then it's got sort of some basic features, your shower blocks, it's got a shop, stroke fish and chip shop. So again, you can get food on site um, and it has a laundrette. But again, as we go through the video, I'll, I'll point some of this stuff out to you. In terms of the actual uh, site, um, yeah, they're, they're quite laid back in terms of the rules. Um, obviously, if you check their website, it, it goes into detail exactly what isn't, it is and isn't allowed. Um, you are allowed to have open fires there. Um, and again, the, the, the sort of location of how you're supposed to set up is quite relaxed. So again, there was a number of different, um, yeah, there was a number of different clubs. So VW were there and, and a number of other clubs where again, they just sort of parked up in a massive circle um, and yeah, chilled out and sort of played music and so forth so again in terms of that again it's quite relaxed so again you can have a really good setup if you go with a group uh, a group of people um, one of the areas is set up for um, it's sort of cornered off so again if you're if you're a club again I, I believe you can sort of hire that space and it is sort of roped in so, so I only allow you, uh, that club to go in there but again it depends if that's really a requirement probably not on the basis of how relaxed they are in terms of your configuration that you can have but um yeah like i say we'll, we'll go through the video and i'll give you a, a bit of a, a view of what to expect so this is your main entrance to the site as you come down the road uh, the road as you come down before this is quite narrow so do take it easy uh, before you actually make your way into the entrance um, and again this is sort of single track so yeah just sort of eyeball what's coming coming down back at you uh, when you approach. And as you come into this main sort of area, to start with, there's your reception on the right. So again, you can check in there. Um, if it's sort of pretty busy area, again, you can just sort of follow it around to the left. Um, and obviously these are your static uh, homes that you can hire out. But again, more details on the website regarding that. Um, but um, yeah, when we turned up, we certainly just came straight round uh, and down into the main area just so because it was busy at the time. Um, and again, you're able just to walk back up to reception and find out what's going on. There is areas down here where you can just park on the left if you've got a caravan. Um, but yeah, there's normally plenty of space just to pull up and um, just assess what's going on. As I said earlier, a lot of the pictures, um, where it's, it's a configuration of three main fields, um, there is certain ones that have electric and, and some that don't. So again, if that's what you're after, you will need to inquire in, in terms of um, what pictures are available. But the majority are non-electric, um, but again, they are dotted around the, the two sides. So yeah, you'll just need to ring up reception and find out what's available. Here on your left hand side as you come in, this is obviously the, the small laundry area, at least it has something there so if you get uh, stuck. Um, and then yeah, the, the this building here, the white and blue is obviously your shop and chip shop, so again you can get food in there. It's not all just fish and chips, there is a sort of menu that you can get within reason and then you've got your shower blocks. This is the main field, obviously a small park for the children. There is a field over to your left and then the, the in front of you now, um, just sort of fenced off. But um, yeah, there's no difference between the fields really. And this is the, the field that we're in. Um, and again, of a good size, like I say they're quite relaxed in how that configuration is in terms of how you set up. Um, and again, there's certainly a lot of space here, um, so yeah, you won't have any issues of sort of what you want to be able to do, uh, and plenty of space for ball games and stuff like that. 
this is the cornered off area that I said you can hire separately um, but again if not the our kids were in there playing and then with this is where we were set up this weekend sort of in this corner So out towards the back of the park, um, there's a main, the main sort of nature reserve. It's the Key Haven um, area, and again, you can sort of take a, a, a path all the way down towards the coast. Um, and, and again, it, there's a, a number of sort of uh, shops, pubs, uh, ice cream vans on the way once you get down to the far end. Um, but again, yeah, really nice area. Just have a wander around, go, go to the beach. Um, and, and so forth but um, yeah from site it's probably about a, a good 25 minute walk um, from there um, all the way to the beach itself but again it depends on what which which part you actually stop at but overall like I say a really nice location um, and yeah plenty to do so this is the main path I was talking about when you sort of walk out the back of the site uh, and this takes you on to Key Haven's uh, nature reserve um, so yeah, certainly uh, plenty to see here if this is the kind of thing that you're looking for. But um, yeah, like I say, lots of different locations where you can stop and take pictures, film and, and so forth. So when you've got off the main uh, gravel path and actually onto the road, this will take you uh, down into the marina itself. Um, like I say, you can go up to your left there, there's a walk around back into the Key Haven uh, Nature Reserve or you can follow it across the bridge and actually into the marina um, itself. And again, there's um, a pub to your right if you follow this road down um, prior to going onto the next coastal path that will take you to the beach. So we've gone through the marina and past the pub and followed the next path uh, which will then take you parallel alongside the actual seawall um, and again this is where you can follow all the way down to sort of the, the, the main beach area and at the end of this road is where you, you find your ice cream tra truck which you'll probably be if it's a hot day in dire need of um, but um, yeah certainly a nice little stroll and uh, yeah this is the end beach. So whenever we go away as a group, there's normally a, an archery competition uh, happening at some point. And in this case, obviously Chloe showing uh, who's boss. The other game that always comes out is obviously swing ball. And um, yeah, Jenna is the gold medalist when it comes to swing ball. So um, yeah. Jack is in training. <coughs> and with the kids obviously in a big field, any excuse to have a water fight. I thought I'd have a little play with a time lapse, so um, yeah, it didn't turn out too bad this one. So the town nearby is Lymington. I think it's about a 20, 25 minute walk. It really depends on uh, obviously the speed that you go. Um, but yeah, you know, a number of small shops there you can walk to, um, restaurants, food outlets, um, pubs on the way. So again, yeah, it's probably worthwhile just having a venture out into that location. It does have an outdoor Lido, um, but again, I believe it's open now, but again, you might be worth double checking on the website if that's the case. But um, yeah, certainly a, a few other things to do if you're heading in that direction. But yeah, in, t in terms of the site, if you're, if you're thinking about, about going away with a group of people and, and you're not looking for like um, entertainment, swimming pool, uh, that kind of thing that you would see at sort of a haven stroke sort of park dean site then again yeah a really sort of chilled out relaxed area in a good location plenty around you in terms of uh, like say limited town center got key haven sort of nature reserve around you so again there's the, there's that walking element um, and then yeah you've got the new forest um, on your doorstep as well so again yeah certainly lots to do there 
but yeah as a group yeah lots of different configurations you can have with the setup but um yeah like i say uh, a site that i would recommend in terms of um yeah get togethers so as always uh thanks for watching hopefully like i say it's given you an idea um, it was a short video like i say i didn't get a chance to do too much recording uh, at this site um but um, as always, yeah, if, you, if it's been beneficial and you like the content, please think about subscribing, giving it a thumbs up, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers all.